hi in previous video we saw how to do a lab authentication now we are going to add some data through java codes into your ldap apache directory so till now this is the our your our past code okay like what we have done in previous day. now we are going to add these things so now we need to first of all create our directory contract so just go and create so dir context so directory context equal to just give name i'm just giving here like a context it is a easy name we can give whatever you want then new initial so it will pop up some name like initial directory context uh, wait initial directory context okay and here we need to pass our hash table what we created here so ldap environment we have given the name so till now what we have done we have created our directory context and here we are adding our has table this has table contain all the credential regarding your ldap apache now we need to add all the things like regarding our data so first of all we need to create our attributes okay so just go here attributes and try to always do these things whenever you are importing the package just see the name java x dot naming dot directory don't import some different package like some sometimes people are importing the java dot util jar so if you are importing it will create problem for you so please try to import perfectly and we need to give name so i'm just giving here attributes okay then equal to new basic attributes so here we need to create our basic attributes in attributes so we have created now we need to create attribute okay just see the name okay one is attributes another one is attribute so don't confuse okay so one is like plural and one is like singular so here equal to new again basic new basic attributes here we need to see the class all the things so here we are going to add data into like uh, which one we can say like user here user don't contain any data so this user we can see here it is a object class okay so we just need to give name same name like object class okay so just give here in a string format object class okay so here we have given our object class now we need to add different details like uh, if you are adding any data here it will comes under i need organization so just go our previous video like i discussed in uh, second video okay so in second video you will get all the details what is i need organization and what is your object class so you will get full details so here we have given the name now we will go and add all the things so here attribute uh, okay attribute dot add what we need to add inet or org means organization and person so we need to add a particular person so these things we have done now we need to add this attribute into attributes so just go attributes so attributes will contain your attribute okay so we need to pass our attribute so whatever what our attribute name is just simple attribute so what we have done till now we first of all we have done all the credential regarding then we pass all the things into directory context then we create new attributes and attribute this attribute will contain object class so that means it will start from our organization unit user okay now we need to also see here what we are passing this name is a system okay here it will go and it will see like uid equal to admin so here we need to change name as a users okay so and uh, if you don't want to change don't change okay no problem uh, we can handle easily 
because here we can see like this admin is in system so please don't change if you are changing it will create problem for future so I don't want to create any problem right now now we can change later okay no problem so here we have added our inet organization person now we need to create all the details regarding the user so here attribute so attribute sn attribute sn means surname equal to new basic attribute so same you just need to copy paste you can also do copy paste if you want whatever you want so this will contain our sn okay so i'm just going to copy copy this line whole because we need to use some lines so here what we have done we have added our sn same we need to add our cn cn means common name so please remember sn means surname cn means common name so this whole things we have discussed in the first video what is ldap authentication all the things we have discussed you can just go and see if you are not familiar with this one now we need to add so first of all what we need to add sn dot add so what we need to add add the name so name i'm just adding as a like karthik uh, karthik okay so we have added this is surname is a karthik now we need to add cn so i'm just what we need to add a common name like what we can add cn you just cn dot add like Raja okay so I have added his name and all the things now we need to add these things into your attributes because attributes will contain your all the attribute so just go here at attributes dot put so put will always contain your attribute you can see here okay so what we need to add first of all c and then okay first of all sn shared name then again attributes dot put then c n okay so these things we have added and there is one more way you can also add if you don't like this way so one is like attributes with uh, spelling mistake uh, I'm very bad with keywords so attributes dot put so here you can see here first one is like you need, you need to add attributes and on another way you can only add here attribute like first of all a string argument then object name so if you know argument all the things then you can directly add the name so tele phone number so telephone number like I am giving his telephone number you can give any random number no problem one two three three something like okay so we have added three details one is surname surname is a Karthik CN is a, a common name is a Raza and we have added also his telephone number now it is a main thing here if you are adding anything in here here you add equal to admin so here we need to also write the DN name like here you add is admin so we can easily guess okay here you add means admin so here I need to call by his employee number or you can give his registration number whatever you want you can just give no problem so please try to give like unique name so you can easily guess these things okay so just add everything into our context so context what we have given a uh, context name is a context dot create okay so it will create sub context so now we need to give his employer employee number equal to one okay no problem then where we need to add organization unit equal to 
just see here users okay not user it's users so organization unit equal to users so users and this is users into like it will in system so sys system okay so what we have done till now we have added these things now this is like a reference of that details but where we need to add and what the data we need to add so all the like sn cn and telephone number we have added into here this attribute so this attributes we need to add directly here okay and uh, if it is successfully added we can see it will add here your data here we don't contain any data so just go and run this program so after running we can see here we are getting the message successfully so when you come first time here you can't see any data so how we will see just to go here and refresh so after refreshing we can see here users will contain one data okay and this is your object class okay what we discussed earlier so here employee number equal to one cn name is raja sn is a karthik employee number one in telephone number one two three all the things so here you can also see if you want like this one so this is a way how to add so if you are having more data you can use your for loop which loop you want to use thanks guys